Hello and welcome, quick but very interesting video. Setting up the Binance testnet for future trading. So you can play a bit around with the API without risking real funds. Let's get started. First of all, you go on testnet.binancefuture.com. Then you log in with your Binance account or you just create one. Then you end up on this site here and you can basically get started executing trades. So you can check your assets here to get an overview of what mock or fake money you're getting here. So 15K USDT is the starting balance and then you can execute some juicy future trades here. So you can go long, you can go short, you can place limit market and stop limit orders as in the spot trading environment. Nothing too interesting until now, but next, we will connect with the API so you can automate and test some of your genius trading algorithms. So let's jump over and open up a notebook. But before we're doing that, I just want to show you how you can find your API key and your API secret, which you need to connect to the testnet API. So you just go on API key here and there you will find your pair. You copy those values and you will paste them later on. So let's open up a Jupyter Notebook here, go into positions back here, have copy pasted my keys and let's write some code. So first of all, I'm just using the CCXT library. I've covered it, uh, I think one or two years ago. It's just a, a crypto library, which enables you to connect to multiple crypto exchanges. Then you define your API key and your API secret. And you just copy paste the values I just showed you. So API key, API secret, done. Next, you define your exchange S and then you use CCXT. And as we're using Binance here, we ex extract or we access the Binance functions and then we just define some parameters. So our API key is our API key. Then we also need the secret. Secret is our API secret. Then we need options, which is going to be By default type future and this is just telling Binance that you want to use the futures market. Nothing more than that. So this is connecting to Binance so you can start using it now. But before doing that, I recommend to set up the sandbox mode here. Send body, also a good one. Sandbox mode is true. So you are in the sandbox mode, which you are when you're using the testnet. Next, you can directly start. So you can just use exchange and then fetch your balance. And then you will see what is given to you. So somewhere it shows your USDT balance. Yeah, there is available balance. You will see 15K, I just played around before this video, so I got a bit less USDT as you got, but this is your starting balance and then you can uh, get started. You also see your, your crypto assets here, but you won't have any uh, in the beginning. So we have basically successfully connected to our account and now we can start firing trades or you can implement a trading logic, whatever you want. So let's execute one order, so just that you see uh, that everything is going through. So defining an order here. Uh, first of all, let's define some parameters. So symbol, let's trade a Bitcoin USDT a contract. Let's just buy 0 0.01. And then you just use exchange, create order, and then you define the uh, order parameters. So symbol is going to be our symbol uh, type. Well, you can place a market order, you can place a limit order. I'm just using the most simple one, which is a market order. 
then you define the site as I want to go long, I just buy, and then I buy the defined quantity. And this will place an order. Let's take a look at that. So we get order fills, BTC, USDT. We get for what price we bought and some blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So long story short, you can just go to the interface and now you see in your positions that you have this uh, BTC USDT perpetual future contract on. So you're in a position and then you make money on it or you don't, depending on the market movements. And just for uh, information, so you see I have 20x here, so 20 times leverage. You can change that in the preference settings. I just set it by the default value, which is 20x here, right? So that's basically it for this video. There's a lot of potential here. We can uh, implement some trading logic here. If you're interested in that, let me know. So yeah, that's it for now. I hope this was helpful and let me know what you built, how your connection is working, and if you made some juicy mock trades. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers, bye-bye.